Hello craft lovers, it's me Diana. It's been a long time since my last upload. I hope you're all doing well. Many of you watch how I made my sister's wedding favor stickers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bronze sticker which is similar to the favor sticker. Before we start, let me introduce you Plushy House. They are a gift shop located at the heart of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. They are mostly selling soft and cute plushies, cushions, and figurines, which are a good idea for gifts of all ages. They also have a grand opening promotion right now, which is 10% off on entire order using their code PLUSHYHOUSE10 and free shipping on orders over 100 in Canada only. Please watch until the end of this video because Plushy House is giving away an awesome discount just for you guys. Let's get into it. Here is the Plushy House logo. The logo itself can already be uploaded to Cricut Design Space, just that I want to put a white outline around it. So to do that, I'm going to use Adobe Illustrator to make an offset pad. I opened the logo's Adobe Illustrator file. Simultaneously select the green outline and pink outline of the banner by holding shift on keyboard and left button of your mouse. Press Ctrl C to copy it, Ctrl L to create a new layer, then Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Now that I have the copy of those two, I'm going to lock and hide the layer of the original logo. To have a nice offset, I'm going to unite the circle and banner. You can select them by doing the same technique. Select the circle and banner holding shift on keyboard and left button of your mouse. Once selected, go to Pathfinder tab at the bottom right of your illustrator, shape modes, click unite to merge them. As you can see, there is a line here. Sometimes it occurs when the two elements didn't overlap. Or there was a little space to remove that just use direct selection tool and choose the anchor and delete I removed the outline by selecting stroke then none now we have this shape let's start making the offset path select the element and on top of your illustrator, go to Object, Path, Offset Path, tick Preview so you can see how thick you want your offset path to be. Okay, so I will choose this amount of thickness, then press OK. Now let's see how it looks like when I unhide the logo. Make sure to rearrange your layers. At this point, my offset object is on top of the logo. That is why we can't see the logo even though I unhide it. Click the layer and drag it to the bottom. I will also change the color of my offset pad. You can choose any color you like, but for my preference, I will just make it white. Now I'm done with the logo. We can export it to PNG. Make sure to leave the artboard unchecked because we only want to export the logo with the offset. Choose the highest resolution and then OK. After all those changes, we can now upload our logo file. For those who doesn't need to do any modification like what I did, you can just upload your logo in Cricut Design Space. Now, open your Cricut Design Space, make a new project, click Upload, browse and find your logo. I will select Complex because the logo has many colors and so that it will be more detailed when I print and cut it. Please make sure to save it as a print then cut image. The file is now uploaded to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to select the uploaded logo and insert it in our project. Once inserted, we can resize the image to whatever size we want. I'm just going to zoom out the file here. And as you can see, the object layer has an exclamation mark, which means the image is too big than the recommended printing and cutting material. By default, the proportion of the object in QuickCut is locked. 
so that you don't have to worry if the image will be distorted when you want to resize it. Okay, so let's try printing. For the first print then cut, I want to try a big sticker, around 6 by 5.86 inches. And then click make it. So as you can see, it can only print one sticker, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so I can maximize the space of the sticker paper. Let's say 4.5 by 4.4 inches and then click make it. So I'm going to make two copies of the logo and then apply. After that, click continue, send to printer and then add bleed. Then print. I'm going to print it on my matte sticker paper with our inkjet printer. After printing, stick your paper on your Cricut mat. I like to put masking tape at the four corners of my project so that the paper will not move. Now my dial is in custom. I'm going to find my material in Cricut Design Space. I'll type sticker paper. I will lessen the pressure so it won't cut until the back of the sticker paper and also using my fine point blade. Go to Cricut and press the load button. Next is the C or Cricut button. Cricut will now read the registered lines before it start cutting the sticker paper. So it is done cutting and even if I put the pressure less, it still cut through the sticker paper. Sadly, it is not what I want to achieve. So I will try again with a smaller size sticker but in a different material setting. This time, I set my dial to paper minus. The process will be the same, so from here, I will just fast forward the video until it is done cutting the sticker. It works this time. It cut the sticker but didn't go through the back of the sticker paper, which is what I want to achieve. So as a collaboration with Plushy House, they're giving you guys 20% off on your entire order, which starts today, until the 28th of August 2020. All you have to do is enter the discount code CRAFTWITHLOVE20. So what are you waiting for? Visit their website and enjoy their cute plushies and figurines. Thank you for watching and sticking with me until the end of this video. See you again next time. Please be safe everyone.